All right, everybody, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to talk about one of my favorite game series, which was uh, Ghosts and Goblins, Ghouls and Ghosts on the Mega Drive. But then when the PS2 came out, they remade it and they brought out Maximo. I loved Maximo. Saved up, got it day one, but we're not here to talk about the game. So then, we're then we brought out Maximo 2, which was just as good, but not as hard. And I loved this game. Loved it as well, but unknown to me, they brought out some action figures and stuff to do with it. So a couple years ago, I managed to pick this bad boy up on eBay, just about to have a wee talk about it. So it's Maximo vs. Army is in, I think it's the Battle, Ar battle Armor Max. So he comes with the big battle hammer, comes with his shield, his sword, but he's in full armor. So it's also compatible with Lego for some strange reason. Oh, it's awful weird. Yeah, so I really like this. It's the only Maximo figure that I've ever really seen in person. So I know you can get a full series of them, so turn it on the back, you can even see some artwork. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that person's name. Yes, I'm pretty sure. Yep, he designed them all, so there's the whole figure series there. So you got Maximo, I can't remember her name, what was her name? Tinker, and you got a Clock Puncher, you got Battle Armor Maximo, the one we want. I really like a normal Maximo. You got the Baron, you got a Reaper there, cool, I like them. You also got Claude Bain and your boxer shorts maximum, which is a figure that I want most because when you play Ghosts and Ghosts, you spend the majority of time in your boxers. So I quite like this. I'm chuffed that I got it. It's still boxed. Hangs up in proud display in my living room. But that's not the figure that inspired this video. My friend Kita recently hooked me up with an E3 2003 promo Maximo vs Army of Zen figure. So here we go. Maximo vs Army E3 2003 special. So he's gave me a... Give me a little handful of these. I've got one for me, one for my son, and one for this video, which I'm going to open. So we've got a wee mini Maximo. Look at that. So it's totally compared to... Like it's, look at that compared to a PlayStation 2 case. It's totally. So these were given out or sold at E3. I've not got much information on them. So yeah, it's pretty cool. So I'm just going to open it up and have a look. So that's going to hurt me to do this. As you probably noticed, I like to keep things boxed, but that's why i got more than one of these. So this wee guy is going to be in proud display somewhere on the back. I love Maximo, but there's some horror stories today with me in that game series, which I'll probably talk about at another time. So this wee figure appears to be rigid. It doesn't. Oh wait, his arm does move to the side. So let's have a look at the detail. It does look like Maximo. He's got the scar and he's got the new tattoo that he got in the second game, which is never referenced or brought up. So and does this arm move up and down? Let's see his arm stiff. Not that arm is stuck in place. It doesn't move. I think it might turn. Slightly turns, but this arm is the most movable one, so that'll be one for the shield. So I'm sitting down there, we'll get the shield out. Let's get the shield clipped onto, clipped onto him. Here we go, let's clip that. Come on, there we go, so we get the shield clipped on, so you can sit it there, or you can do that. So let's see if I can get this sword in his immovable hand. So the sword should, sword should just slay oh wait, his hand moves. His hand has movements because it's turned while I'm trying to get this in. Jeez, it's wept. I'm just going to do this off camera because it's a bit fiddly. Doing it through the camera lens is not ideal. Right, come on, slide in there. You, There we go. Did you hear that? That just slid in there. So that actually looks pretty cool. So we've got Aximo there with his sword and shield. So clearly I'm not going to swim that. We'll stand like that on full display because it just looks awesome. Not to say the bear will stand. It might stand next to the Ghostbusters and the Terror Dog or maybe next to Zoltar. So, but I'm really chuffed with this. Thank you, Kita, for hooking me up with these. You know, there he is, mad ponytail. The detail in this figure is actually really good for some, since it's so small. Really good detail in it. I'm quite quite impressed. Quite impressed. There we go. So that's the Maximo vs Armies in figure. I was literally just going to do a video on this, but then I realised it's tiny, not much to say about it, so I thought I'll chuck in, talk about it, I've got the games, now maybe show off that action figure at the same time. So thank you for watching, like, share, subscribe and all that, don't forget to tell your pals and whatnot. We're, we're aiming for 70 subscribers right now, come on, we can hit 70 soon, let's do this. And uh, thanks for watching and don't forget to have a gudgeon.